All right, here we are at a home in Magador, Ohio. Very unique house. I'll show you inside, but the um, the way the home is built uh, prohibits us from doing a normal sub slab depressurization system uh, for radon removal. Um, they have radiant heating in the floor of the basement, which is copper pipes with water. And if we drill a hole into that floor, we could potentially break a line and have a big mess on our hands. So this is really our only option. So this is all you're going to see from outside. One of these pipes here is exhausting stale air and this one's bringing in fresh air. There's uh, wire mesh guards on each to prevent critters and bugs from getting inside the house. We'll go inside and take a look. All right, and here we are. I'll show you a little bit about the, the house here. You'll see this is actually a uh, concrete floor, metal joists, um, and underneath this floor is radiant heating like we discussed so we can't drill holes in there to, to remove radon before it enters the home cavity. So the next best option is either a HRV or an ERV. This particular unit is an HRV, a heat recovery ventilator. And what it's doing is it's drawing stale air from this basement in this pipe, diagonally down, and exhausts it out there. And it brings in fresh air through here and blows the fresh air in this way. So uh, the, the part that makes, the thing that makes these unique is that um, this is a 78 or 80 percent efficient unit and there's a, a coil inside of here that looks like an air conditioning unit coil that you would see inside of a furnace. So the air passes paths, heats and cools that metal or aluminum um, coil and energy is transferred back and forth. So in the winter, instead of just sucking air in here and blowing a whole bunch of 30 degree air in and blowing out all your 70 degree air, um, with 80 percent efficiency that uh, 30 degree air probably comes in at about 62 degrees as opposed to coming in at 30 degrees. And this, the opposite is true in the summer months. You're not wasting all of your air conditioning, you're not wasting all of your heat. Um, we'll go up and take a peek at the uh, the inside here because they're, they're kind of neat. You also see here is a um, clear tube. This is a condensation line so as it ices up and melts uh, or you just have standard condensation, it'll uh, it'll drain down this pipe. This particular home, we couldn't drill into the floor and, and create a normal drain like we would like to because of the radiant f uh, heating in the floors. Didn't want to take the risk of puncturing one of those pipes. So we discussed with the homeowner, this is the particular location that she wanted it, so that's that's where it ended up. Let's take a look inside. All right, and this is the inside of the unit here. This kind of shows a little diagram of the way that the air moves diagonally across this coil. It's got two electrostatic filters that you just pull out and rinse every couple months. This is what the uh, the fins of the coil look like. So the air passes through there but the stale air never touches the fresh air. It just picks up the heat from one side and transfers it to the other. There are a lot of options in here to actually um, connect this unit directly to your ductwork. This home has no ductwork because of the radiant heating. It also has a high and low setting. Um, some of the more advanced models have a lot more going on, a computer board and, and so forth. But this particular unit is pretty uh, pretty basic. Um, homeowner um, just did what she had to do to, uh, to get to closing. This home tested at um, 6.2 picocuries per liter during a home inspection. And uh, we expect it to be well under one when we get our results back in a couple days. Unit's not very noisy at all. We like to set them on blocks so that we're not transferring noise up through the joists. Now, in this case, it would have been a, a pain to connect to these metal joists, but normally um, it comes with um, chain and spring, so you can hang this thing from the ceiling if you need to, but we find that it's a lot quieter upstairs if you, if you keep it on the ground. And that's, that's really it. Always leave all of our contact information here. This particular unit, I believe, is warranted for 10 years from the manufacturer. We've never had a call back on one of them. Um, Fantech is the, uh, the brand that we like to use. Uh, if you have any questions, you can visit the website, akronradon.com, or call 330-915-4999.